You guys have fun with that. We're going to talk some NBA for just a minute. Uh, Chris, I got to tell you, not pleased with the beginning of the NBA restart. God almighty. The Memphis Grizzlies have lost all three of their games. For those that don't know, we are based in Memphis. We are, uh, we're Grizzlies fans. You know, that's just the way it works. Hometown team. We've been following them. They were winning for a little bit, and, and now they're back to winning again. Eh. But young team, and they lost to three teams that are ranked, or not ranked, but... That are below them. That are below them in the rank, in the, in the uh, standings. They started off with a four-game lead against everybody. They dropped three games to the three teams you can't lose to. Yep. And now they have a two-game lead. Because everybody else has lost a game as well. The Pelicans had lost two straight before thank, they beat the Grizzlies. Thank God. Yeah. Uh, but it, it is, it's a two-game lead with uh, five left. Now, that is not bad, right? That's the whole reason behind how big of a lead three and a half games is, is because you're not playing the same teams every single night. But the problem is, is if we could have stretched it to four and a half games or more, then we don't have to play that crazy play-in series. Correct. At this point, it doesn't matter what you do the rest of the way. You are probably We're going to play the play-in series, no doubt. The one team that scares me is San Antonio. Yeah. Uh, now, we'll say this. They did lose to um, to the Sixers the that's other night. That's fine. That so, doesn't bother me. I'm telling you, San Antonio is the only team that's going to beat us in that play-in series. Um, I'm not – I'll say this. We have not fared well, and by we, the Grizzlies, of course uh, – the Grizzlies have not fared well at all against the Pelicans this year. They do not match it, up It doesn't well. matter. It so, doesn't matter. We're, they're not beating us two games in a row like that. The you, way this you might be right. Gonna matter. No, we're going to be – yeah, we'll win that. I don't think the Grizzlies have beaten the Pelicans one time this year. That's fine. That's okay. <laughs> but you, you might be right. Um, but that that's the thing. We have to hold on to that lead in order to be the team that only has to win one game. Well, like, that's, that, that's the no, biggest if thing. If we don't win that, we're out completely. Yeah. Uh, we're not well, not not, anybody not, not two out games completely. in a row. Um, yes, that, yes, we're not beating anybody two games in a row. You might you might be right about that. The uh, the Mavericks win today. Uh, you know that that moves them up. I don't think they are going to be able to catch the Oklahoma City Thunder. Uh, everybody other than the Grizzlies has won a game in this thing, aside from the Washington Wizards, who no, are the Kings have lost three in a row. Is that right? And they were uh, one yep, of the teams yep, yep. chasing. You're us. right. They were one of the teams chasing, and and now they're pretty much out of it. So yeah. So we're in the same conversation with the Kings and the Wizards, who have no business being in this thing. Yeah. Yeah. Can we get the Wizards right. on the schedule? Oh, I'd love it. I'd love it. But Jesus. alas, no. We uh, we got the the three non playoff teams from the West. So they're fighting us. That's the way it goes. Uh, jumping through the comments, Michael said, just like the Longhorns to live in the past not recognize they haven't been competitive in years. Come play an SEC schedule. And then uh, Joseph said, Grizz are young. Give me the picks. Pelicans don't seem to care. Yeah, they they seem to care yesterday. They're, um, they're not going to – the picks aren't going to help you, though. Like, no. not making the playoffs this year isn't going to get us anything. Yeah, at, at this we point, I'd like, to, I'd like to make the playoffs. That's yeah, it. Be you know, 12th, just, something like that, 16th. I mean, it won't be great. Uh, Michael said, can someone please just knock off the Lakers? So the Lakers did lock up the one seed yeah. last night. And I think what that means is they're not going to win they're not gonna more care. games. Yeah. yeah. They're not going to care the rest of the way. They are going to, you know, get minutes for other guys, make sure that LeBron does not get hurt, uh, make sure that Deion Waiters and J.R. Smith are in, are in full game shape for the playoffs. Because yep. at this point, there's not a single game left on the schedule that matters. At all. Like, there's Correct. not anything going on that uh, that would matter one way or another. So, you know, and, and I think that that's good news um, for the Grizzlies. I think the Grizzlies play the Lakers, right? Let's see. I don't know the answer to that. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. Uh, the Grizzlies play the Jazz tomorrow, I know, but da, 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 da. I don't see a schedule. Either way, it is what it is. So, um, So, yeah, aside from that, you know, the, the Rockets have looked good. They've won two straight. They play again. The Rockets have looked good, and they've won two straight against good teams. Yes. Yes, they have. So, the Rockets, you know, moving on up, they uh, they took over that four spot from the Jazz. And, you know, Jazz moving on down. Yeah, the Jazz are, are going to want to win this evening because they want to get back into that four slot. You uh, you don't want to be in the fives. Well, I, I, does it matter? Does it no. really matter? 
It doesn't. I don't guess it's not this, home year, court not this year. It doesn't matter. Like it maybe the seeding for some of these teams that are already locked up is just kind of whatever. It does. You know? it, it really doesn't matter. Yeah, I mean, four and five, you're still gonna have to play the the Lakers in the second round. So, yep. What does it matter? Um, so with that, uh, let's talk about the East for a second. The Bucks have not played well. No, but they all. they don't need to win any games. I'm they they weren't playing great before this whole thing stopped, and and then they haven't looked good in. You know, I, is there like we've talked about I'm not NBA teams that bad at, about the Bucks at all right now? I I just wonder if they can flip a switch, you know? Mm, I don't know that it's flip a switch thing. It's just let's ramp up, okay? Yeah, maybe so. In the I mean, first they, couple of games, you're ramping up, and they've got nothing really to fight for. That's uh, that's a good point. I mean, they are they are way, way up. They're five they games up They got a five-game lead on Toronto. With five games and, and, and I'll tell you this. I, I truly believe that Toronto is the only team that, that gives them a real threat. I'd love to see my Celtics be better. And, and and pose a real threat. I I don't know if they're good enough to do that. Um, but Toronto Toronto is Toronto's been the most impressive team so far in the comeback to me. Oh, a hundred percent. I mean they they've won two games, and I mean, look. If anybody team, thought they could be anywhere close to this after losing Kawhi, we were just all wrong. Well, so I'll say this: with Mark Gasol in the lineup, they are thirty and eight this season. Yep. I mean that is absurd. They're forty-eight and eighteen, the rest of the way. But with okay. with Marc Gasol in the lineup, they're thirty and eight, and that is best in the league by a long shot. I mean it's absurd. Um, let's see. Adrian Richard jumps in, says um, Jamie Newman will win the Heisman. <laughs> I don't I don't believe that, but you know we'll see. Uh, we may not get a Heisman this year. And he said I don't respect the Milwaukee Bucks anymore. Uh, Matt Miller said Westbrook can get in the paint. At will in Houston with all the shooters, yeah, that's a hundred percent true. I mean that that floor is spaced so much there, uh, but we'll see. I mean they play fully small ball. We'll see if uh, they've been able to handle guys bigger than them, but you know we'll see if it's if, what are you talking about the Rockets. Yeah, if the Rockets yeah. have an off night shooting, they are in a lot of trouble. But, I don't know, man. The other night they shot awful. The other night they were like nineteen for fifty nine. I mean it was something insane. Yeah, but it still was still won. it was like nineteen threes, wasn't it? I mean, it yeah, was, that's from three point nineteen from fifty nine and three points. Yeah, that's but the fact that you that's still thirty three percent. If you shoot up a hundred, yeah, you're gonna get a bunch of them. Yeah, and that's what your I'm saying. Your percentages like, are gonna be terrible, but you don't take percentages to the bank. No, you, you take, take points to the bank. You take three pointers to the bank. So, and that's I mean that's the reason the NBA has shifted this way. So. Uh, Typhon the Greek says NHL playoffs have been fired. Go Stars. Yeah, no. Oh, Chris is all I've over been, that one. I have been watching so much playoff action, and it's been glorious. Outside of my Preds getting their ass with the first two games, put it on them today. <laughs> you know what hurt me? I'm going to do like two seconds of, of, of hockey talk. Go ahead. Go ahead. I was really upset when Pecorino got benched today. and I Because I've, I've just, I love that guy ever since he's been here in Nashville, and it's just, I want him to be the man, and he's been the man forever. But he, but he hadn't been this the change to sorrows. Oh my gosh! Yeah, that dude different. was a monster today. Yep. Uh, just a monster. Now you, you are definitely right about that. Adrian said Miami Heat will win the Eastern Conference. They are sitting at forty two and twenty five. Um, I don't see it, but you know, I, I, anything is within the realm of possibility at this point. Uh, Matt Miller said Kawhi is great but has been overrated his entire career. They were 21-70, and 70, and then that's all he said. And then uh, Typhon the Greek said the Mavs just need a little defense to win a title. Look, at it. don't don't put it out I, of... I love that Mavs team. Oh, God, Luka, I love that Mavs I mean, team. Porzingis and, 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 and Luka. And, and Luka, Luka just unbelievable fun to watch. Uh, I really like them. They haven't done great in this comeback, but they're, once again, man, we're all ramping up. We're three, most teams are three games in. And Everybody will be two, by, by tonight. Yeah. yeah, summer two, summer four, but it, it's we're we're almost at the halfway point here. Yeah, now you're, you're definitely right about that. Like, I, and nobody's going to go through this thing undefeated, and nobody's going to go through and lose all the games. Um, no, because the everybody's best bets, good. You could you could find a couple of prop bets. I wish we would have talked about some of this stuff early. Is the Bucks and the Lakers uh, like totals coming into this new thing was. Eight and three or something. No, sorry, out of the eight games, five and three. Yeah. And like, so, 
you know, whatever was their like their their record number, I'd have bet the under on that all day long. Oh, one hundred percent. Just just because I, they have such big leads. Yeah, you I only had to win a few them. games to. It to was five tie and a half one. was the wins that they had to get. I, I just don't see them only losing two. It's easy in hindsight now that I've seen them lose at least one, but it's just the 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 math didn't make sense. Yeah. Why would they come back out of quarantine and not playing for four or five months and immediately say, let's go 8-0? and oh. Like, that didn't make any sense. No, it makes zero sense. Uh, Matt said, by the way, they were 21 of 70 from three. That's what the Rockets were the other day. So, Well, it's, at one point in time, yeah. they were 19 of, of, of 59. Yeah. That wasn't for the game. That's at a point in the game. So, obviously, they made two more than that Yep, the rest of the game, and they shot – 10, 11 more than 11 that. more. So two of 11 down the stretch to finish that. But that's, that's kind of par for the 20. I mean, the yeah. 19 and 59, right? Yeah. And, and, and they won. So, and they won. You, you make 21 threes in a game. You're you probably going to take win. percents to the bank. Uh, Damien jumps in. He said, what's up? And Michael said, nuggets are struggling. They need to get it together. Yeah. Uh, nuggets, yeah. I really it, wanted I mean, them to be better than what they are. I, I like mean, they, this they gotta win. team a lot. They got to win. So that's good. You know? Yeah, they. I mean, they got to win. They they haven't looked great yet. I I really like this team. I want to see them playing their best ball come playoffs. Yeah. Now Where you're are they uh, standing right now. Hang on, let me look at this. The third the Nuggets, and they the forty four and twenty three. They're uh, they're one and one so far in the. Uh, well, yeah, I'm, I'm just talking about. So they're game and a half up on Houston. Yeah, and then a game right. and a half back at the Clippers. So. Yeah, we'll see. Anyway. We'll see what happens. It's been fun. It, it most certainly has been. I've enjoyed it. Uh, this, I mean, it feels like March Madness. I mean, you got games God, going on from sports back. Yeah, oh. this has been so good. Uh, Joseph said, "Bull Bull's still working himself in as a starter." Yeah, no, Bull Bull's been entertaining. Uh, there's a lot of good storylines in this, man. It's just there seems to be so many that you don't know exactly how to hit it because you don't want to just discuss like a particular game. We want to just hit the the overall sporting landscape on this show. That's it. Once we get into college football season and the NFL. You know, we're going to have our pick shows. We're going to have those kind of things. But uh, this isn't an NBA-centric podcast, but we do enjoy watching the games. So this weekend, of course, uh, we will later on in the week, we're going to talk golf and all that. Uh, Damien said, can somebody please explain to me how the 76ers in the, buzzle, or in the bubble are playing like garbage? I mean, they got a win against the Spurs last night. I don't know what else you want, man. They, yeah, they got the, two wins uh, in the bubble, right? The, no, they're one and one. And the Spurs, That's right, yeah. coming. that was their third game in four days, five days. So... Yeah, I, I you gotta. You, it's just like the regular season, man. You play back to backs, or you're 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 on the third game in five days. Just bet against that team, man. They're just but, not gonna keep going. You're, you're playing good teams every single night, so eh, no, the you know, Sixers. Somebody not gets the Wizards. Somebody gets the Suns. They're not very but, good. Hey, the Suns are two and zero. Oh, so I know, but they play some slaw ass teams. <laughs> yeah, you you might be. They right. got a win against the Wizards. And I think a win either against the. Kings or the Nets, maybe? I think it was the Kings. I, I believe it was the Kings. Two teams that are over right now. Yeah. And that's, you know, that's fine. I, I, that, what I'm saying is the Suns will lose. Every, everybody will lose at some point. So, even the Magic, who are 2-0 right now, uh, and, the, and the Pacers are 2-0, you know, whatever. 